Hey guys, this is Amin with Falcon Notes, and we're back at it today with another Notion template tutorial. So this is actually a very important one, the residency application dashboard. So for starters, we've all put so much effort into all the different parts of our residency application, right? We got the scores, we got the exams, we got the volunteer activities, the publications, all of the different experiences. And the final key to putting all of those together and actually applying it into the application process is having a unified, a central system where you kind of keep all those things straight. And this is designed by medical students just like me, who basically went through the process and realized there's so much to keep track of. I myself applied to orthopedic surgery and keeping track of all the programs I was interested in, all the programs I was going to signal, all the programs I ended up interviewing with, and then keeping them all straight and then putting together my final rank list. I don't know how I would have done it without a centralized system where everything is kind of organized in a way that makes sense. So without further ado, let's get into the actual tutorial and show you how it works. So starting off with the top, here's a table of contents, and this kind of uh, has live links to all the different parts of the page. This is a quick uh, tutorial. This guide right here has explains all the different parts of the page, but that's what this video is for. And um, one thing to keep in mind is that this page is designed for ERAS, but it's also designed for M3s who are planning out their M4 year. So you can actually start uh, putting together your application pretty early on. You can put together your personal statement. You can put together, um, you know, a list of programs that you're potentially interested in. You can, you know, if you're in June and July, you can start putting together your final signal list pretty early on. So this this template uh, and this page can be used pretty early on, you know, as a third year med student. So the first part of the page is actually the master program list. And this is essentially the key database that holds this entire template together. So how does this work? Essentially, what it is, is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a master program list that is a database which includes all of the different programs that you're interested in and applying to. So, for example, any program that I click on, I will be taken to essentially a landing page for that specific program has all the information that I need. So number one, what's the status of my application? You know, am I, is this before ERAS um, has opened? Is this after we've submitted, but I'm just waiting, I'm waitlisted, you know, I have an interview invite, whatever it is, you know, uh, let's say I'm planning for my away rotations as a third year med student, you know, what's, what's the process on that away application? Um, here's a link for the actual program site. Where is it, where is it located? Um, you have things like, you know, putting it as a favorite, you can have a list of favorites. Let's say uh, you're figuring out your signal list. You can check it as, you know, essentially a program that you are or are not going to signal and a bunch of other different uh, pieces of information, such as, um, you know, what are the dates of the open house, the resident social, uh, et cetera, et cetera. We actually have a section that organizes all the different dates and basically kind of like a timeline um, uh, tracker of all the different things that you you need to actually attend. Uh, now the question arises: What does this F mean, and what does this D mean? So this F is referring to Frida, which is basically a website that a lot of students use to essentially better understand what program they're applying to. And the proximity is what the D stands for. So these rankings and this grade is just brought in from uh, proximity. Um, and uh, essentially, you know, you can use that or you cannot use it um, depending on what you care about. So. For example, child care provider um, provided. I don't care about that, right? I don't have kids, for example. I can just delete this property. I don't need that. I don't need, that's not something I need to keep the track of. However, I do need to keep track of what their step two minimum or their cutoff is. So I can keep that piece of information there. And as I scroll down on the actual page, you'll see a bunch of other uh, information that I can uh, put into this program. So Let's say I need to keep track of who the program director is, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I can keep that right in here. Um, let's say I want to write a personalized ERAS application for this program. It's my number one program. I can actually go in here and draft a personalized personal statement. Um, and I can also plan specifically which letters of rec. Let's say I have six letters of rec. I can plan which three letters I'm going to put here. Um, let's say, you know, I have not received an interview yet and I'm just planning things out. I can, you know, plan out any pre-interview, uh, communication. Um, I can also do some prep. So, you know, who are the faculty there? 
Um, who are the residents there? What are some notes that I took about the program? And ultimately, why am I interested in this program, right? Because they're, they're going to ask me that on interview day. So moving forth, uh, moving forward, this is, uh, you know, let's say I'm actually on the interview day. I can post a screenshot of the interview schedule right, right here. Um, I can pre-plan what kind of questions I have for the faculty and the residents. And then during the interview day, especially if it's virtual, I can take notes right here and there. Uh, right here in the in the actual landing page and keep that and keep that uh, there. And then let's say, you know, I'm done with the interview and then, you know, I need to do thank you emails, letter of interest, letter of intent, whatever it is, I can plan that right here. So that is the master program list. That is basically the workhorse of this Notion template. And you have that for all these different programs. So as soon as you download this template right here, it's filled in with all this placeholder information. What I would do is actually I would go in here and start putting in all the programs that you're interested in. Now, there is a very quick uh, and easy way to actually start putting in programs. Um, and I think uh, I actually put in a little guide right here for the master program list. Here's the pro tip. This is basically a pro tip for adding a bunch of programs quickly. And I won't go through that, but if you want to just put in all the programs from an Excel sheet or something of that sort that's already available online for your specialty, it, I kind of show you how to do that there. Uh, moving on to my calendar. So my calendar refers to basically this um, this view of, of the master program list that has, allows you to essentially look at all the dates um, that are necessary uh, or that you have to keep track of um, for all your programs. So for example, here I have all the interview dates and I can kind of move them around. Here I have the open house dates so I can keep track of you know who has uh, an open house when, resident socials, and then I can even plan out, you know, away rotations. When am I rotating there? You know, I can kind of drag them around. Um, I also included an easy scheduler. So you can do it that way. But also an easy way to do it is, let's say right here, you can actually filter by status and you can put in, um, basically, you can filter for all the programs that you've been invited for an interview for. And what you can do is, Instead of manually going through here and putting in a date, what you can do uh, is for interview dates, open house dates, and resident socials, you can literally take this and just drag it right here. You can take open house. Let's say I know University of Michigan has an open house on the 14th. I can just drag it right there. It just makes life, life a lot easier. So that's the easy scheduler. Moving on. Um, so we went through the easy scheduler. The next thing we'll go through if this loads, is the M4 scheduler. Um, here it is. So the M4 schedule and away rotation planner. So a lot of students will be using this in their third year. And let's say you want to actually plan your away rotations. So here I have a quick uh, database to plan out your away rotation. Let's say they need your all of these things and you're just kind of keeping track of what else you need to put in. Um, you know, you you also, let's say you need to do personal statements for specific programs. You can start planning that out right here. Um, and then you can actually you can actually link it to whatever specific programs require what. Um, and you can uh, and, and this is essentially linked back to the master program list. Here you have an M4 schedule planner, and this is actually a database that's not linked to anything. You can just use this to basically plan out your M4 year. It's just a dummy basically database that you can use to just roughly plan out how you want to do things. Um, moving on, uh, actually planning your away rotations. So let's say you have your away rotations and, uh, you know, you're accepted to a few, a few of them. You can actually plan them out. You can drag and drop them as you need. These are all linked back to the master program list once again. And, um, you know, everything is connected. And then the last part is, let's just say you have notes uh, that you need to take for your sub I. Uh, beforehand, you can just kind of feel you can kind of just take those notes there. Um, just, you know, one way to keep track of all that. So that's the M4 planner. Now, moving on, we'll go into the advanced program applicants. So this is specifically for any applicants that are going to be applying to a transitional year or intern year, as well as a categorical program. So radiology or PM&R or something of that sort. I uh, I am applying to orthopedic, you know, I applied to orthopedic surgery. I don't have a prelim year, so I can just delete that. I don't need that, right? And feel free to edit that specific database as you need if you are if you do need a uh, prelim year. Now, the last part of the template is the rank list slash signal list. 
So starting with the rank list. So let's say, you know, I'm done with interviews. I'm at the end of the process and I'm putting together my final rank list. This database basically allows you to look at all the pros and cons. So on each program, I can kind of select a few different things that I liked, a few different things that I didn't like, and then just use that. Looking at that, I can use it to kind of drag and drop things um, to have a final rank list. I actually tried to create numbers right here, a formula that looked at the, the rank within the list. It didn't work. Notion wouldn't let me do that. But essentially, you can drag and drop things as you like, uh, and that'll help you plan out your final rank list. You also have right here uh, uh, a lot of programs, uh, a lot of specifics, a lot of specialties this year are starting uh, to adopt the signaling um, process. So on the supplemental app, so uh, let's say I'm a third year and I need to plan out which programs I'm going to signal. What you can do is um, you can use this to basically look at all the programs that you need to signal. And then here you'll have a count of how many programs you have signaled so far. Um, and let's say, you know, I have 30 programs to signal. I, I will go up here and then essentially to my master program list. And let's say I want to signal this program. I click signal. And then it shows up down here, Wayne State, um, as a program that I'm signaling. So this is basically uh, a, a database uh, that you can use to kind of plan out um, all the programs you need to signal. And with that said, you know, that's pretty much the entirety of the template. So um, once again, you know, the workhorse of the template is this master program list. It's linked to everything. And that's the beauty of Notion is that everything syncs together. Everything is connected and everything is just automated and makes sense. And that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to minimize how much effort you're putting into, you know, where where are my notes about this program? Where are my notes about my rank list? Where's my note? Everything is connected and, you know, put in one spot together. Uh, so I think it's better than an Excel, Excel sheet. I think it's better than, you know, a simple notes app. Um, I, I will say if you just put in maybe, you know, 10 to 20 minutes just figuring out the, the template before you start, and customizing it to your needs, and maybe even take like an hour or two, it'll save you a lot of headache, you know, later on when you're trying to keep track of things. Uh, one thing that it is especially was helpful for me for was uh, the status. So, you know, it's very hard to keep in your mind, you know, which program interviewed me uh, or which program emailed me back, which program hasn't gotten back to me yet, whatever it is. And so this, this actual status section was really helpful for me. And uh, with that said, that's the entirety of the template. If you guys have any feedback or if you really liked it, please, please uh, leave us a, leave leave us any sort of feedback or a testimonial. We'd love to to hear what you what you all have to to say about our uh, template, and we look to improve it and make it more useful for you. Um, if you have any other questions, please reach out to us through our website. We'll, we're happy to help. Wish you all the best with the application season.